A very big hello to my wonderful PU2 champions. I hope my dear children are doing absolutely great. And in today's video, we are going to see the most important diagrams out there. Listen, I have put down all the diagrams on the basis of which you can get questions as to like what is this part, what is that part, and also the diagrams where you have to actually make it. So make sure you are here with me throughout the video. And if at all you think that this video is helping you well, what you have to do, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel right now. Wishing you all the best for your exam and listen to me carefully. First chapter is principles of inheritance and variation, the most important chapter. Over here, the seven pairs of contrasting traits, all of them are important. Go through it really, really well. It's on page number 54 of your NCRT. Now this picture of pedigree analysis, all the different things, very, very important and especially the meeting between relatives, the consanguineous meeting. So in that, you have two lines between the male and the female. Look for it and the things. Okay? The next thing, pedigree chart. So over here, in your book, there is only one example of autosomal dominant disorder. Rest, everything is recessive. Okay? And autosomal, sorry, autosomal dominant disorder is only one and that is myotonic dystrophy. This is the picture that you have to follow and this is for autosomal recessive disorder that is sickle cell anemia. See over here what are differences in dominant disorder. It does not skip generation. In every generation the disease will be there. So here it's there, here it's there, here it's there in the daughter also, sorry, in the daughter also it's there. But over here you can see skipping of generation. The parent didn't have it but here they are having it. Uh, again, the parent didn't have it, but here they are having it. So it is what? A recessive trait. And here it is dominant trait. So that is very important. You should understand what is the difference between sex link and autosomal disorders, pedigree chart. Okay, look for that carefully and then only go write the examination. Now, next thing, it's on page number 73, by the way. And now you have molecular basis of inheritance. The structure is very important. Nucleosome It's on page number 83. Uh, draw it properly, make the two, uh, what do you call, um, wraps of DNA around it, mention the histone 1, mention it as histone octamer, all of it, and then this is transcription unit, this question is repeated so many times, mention the numbers properly, that is 3 dash to 5 dash n, templates run always 3 dash to 5 dash n because transcription happens in 5 dash to 3 dash direction. Okay, and the coding strand is this. This is the promoter region. This is the terminated region. Here comes sigma, uh, sigma, uh, uh, and comes here. The sigma factor comes and binds. Here the rho factor comes and binds. Over here, this is translation. The picture of translation. Make it properly. mRNA again with the core, uh, with the direction five dash to three dash, and also the tRNA and the polypeptide chains. Mention it properly. Everything. Okay. Fine. So this image can come. This image draw can come again. But this can come as an additional thing if at all you want to explain translation. Okay? Next is lac operon. Very, very important thing. Every single thing given over here is important along with the procedure. Make sure you go read it or you please watch the videos that I have made for you guys. The two marker, three marker, five marker videos that I have made. Watch it in 2x speed, but it is going to be helpful. Okay? All of this is lac operon on page number 101. This can come as a five marker question where you have to explain it and make it as well. Now, yeah, this is tRNA's diagram. Okay, so tRNA's at what end uh, does amino acid come and bind? Three dash end. Okay, what is this known as amino acylation or charging of tRNA? All these small, small things you know, you should know. Anticodon loop is there and amino acid binding loop is there. Okay, so yes, in three dash end, this comes and bind. Don't forget. Now, if in the case of human health disease, stages of plasmodium, this particular image is very important what exactly happens, where, where are the gametocytes formed, the gametocytes are formed inside the RBC of human beings. But do you think gametes formed in the RBC of human beings? No, only gametocytes. These gametocytes are there in the blood now and the mosquito comes and drinks it. And then what happens? It's there in their body and the gut of the mosquito, the gametocyte divides into forming gametes. In what stage does it affect, it, affect us? Sporozoid stage. All the stages are very, very important. Now, this is lymphoid organs. You can be asked, what is this? So, explain it is thymus. Okay. And then lymph nodes are being mentioned, lymphatic muscles are being mentioned. Lymphoid organs itself is a very important topic. But again, as I said, this picture can come. So, don't take the risk. Now, human health and diseases, again, this particular picture, structure of an antibody molecule, usually repeated in boats, but I don't know about midterm, but definitely write out, look for 
the heavy chain, mention the heavy chain, mention the light chain. This is the variable region of heavy and light chain. This is the constant region that you see. They have sulfide bonds over here. They have less sulfide bonds in between both of them, light and heavy, but more over here in between two heavy chains, all this thing. And replication of retrovirus, schematic representation of retrovirus can be asked for HIV AIDS. Look for the diagram, look for each and everything given in this particular picture. What is the mode of action? Okay, it's on page number 139. Now, human health and disease, again, this picture, is structure can be given and can, you can be asked, what is this? So, it is morphine. You don't have to draw it, don't worry. If this is morphine. Morphine comes under opioid. So, it looks like an O, you can remember like that. It's a morphine. It's coming under opioid drug. And what is this? And what is the source of this thing can be asked? So you should know it is from Papa Ware, so Omniferum, where you get morphine from. Okay. And now, what is this plant? What is this plant? All these questions can be coming. So this is Datura, my dear children. And it is a structure of cannabinoid. So where you see st st steps like this, that is cannabinoid. Okay, cannabinoid. And over here, that is opium poppy. That is where from where you get the morphine from. Or you also call it as papaver somniferum. So they have the latex coming up from here. The white thing comes up. That's where, that's how you get the morphine and all these things. Cool. Now... Sexual reproduction flowering plants, as you know, the transfer section of anther, this diagram can be asked, know about the layers, EMT, ENT, ear, nose, throat, I told you, right? So EE -E is for epidermis endothelium, M here, M here is not N, it is M and it is for middle layer and T is for tapetum. What is the role of tapetum, all of this? This picture, super important, okay, okay, where is it? Yes, structure of pollen grains, what is the outer layer made up of exine, is made up of sporobolin, intine, is made up of CP or PC, Priyanka Chopra, that is pectin as well as cellulose. Remember all these things. Can, it will be easy. Vegetable cell, the nucleus, nucleus is irregularly shaped. Here it is irregularly, uh, here it is elongated in generative cell. All the small, small information along with the diagram. Structure of Megasporangium, this is the anatropous ovule. You have to make a normal one. This is ulta ovule. So in normal uh, Megasporangium, you can make the structure over here. That is uh, embryo sac and everything is there. And over here, you would be having your, uh, what do you call so it looks like this. I'll give you the actual structure. Suppose this is the, okay. Suppose this is the ovary, you have the ovule. Here you had the placenta. Placenta is attached to the ovule through funicle. This point of attachment is known as hilum. You have two integuments. Make sure the integument is not covering this portion because this is micropyle region. And over here inside that you have the cells of nucleus. All of it you have to mention properly. This is how you need to do, make the diagram of megasporangium. Even if you Google it a bit, you will get it. Now, over here, these pictures are important because this picture can be given and asked, what is this? What is happening over here? So, there are multiple carpels and all the carpels, okay, all the carpels are fused. They have just a single ovary. This is an example of multicarpillary syncarpus condition. Syncarpus means fused condition. This is again multicarpillary, but it is apocarpus. That means they are not fused. Example, this plant is papaver. Papaver somniferum. And this is what? Michelia. This is anatropous ovule, the ulta ovule. So basically what is happening? The placenta and funicle which has to be here, it is over here on this side towards the micropyle. Okay, so all these examples which are given, go through it, very, very important for your MCQ questions. This is not for your diagram. Now, you know, structure of embryo sac, totally very important. Where is the egg apparatus located? Towards the micropylar end. Clistogamous and chasmogamous flowers, viola, commel and exal oxalis, examples of it. And also, please have an understanding, clistogamous flowers are towards the root or rhizomes. Chasmogamous, the open flowers, are towards the upper region. This picture can be ha asked and told what is happening over here. Insect pollination is happening over here. You have to explain insect pollination, the features of the flowers and everything. Now, dicot plant. Okay, dicot embryo, not dicot, it's not typical dicot plant, it's dicot embryo. Mention all the things. This is monocot embryo. You can be asked about embryo of grass. So grass is just a monocot. So don't get confused. It's dicot or monocot. It's a monocot. Okay. So all these things, again, look for the labelings of all these diagrams that could be helping you well. This is super important, super, super important, okay. Now, my dear children, one very important thing before I go ahead, and that is about KC90. What is KC90? It's an online crash course that we are launching for KCET as well as Comet K, where we will be teaching to you guys for both this examination. In biology, there is no Comet K, but definitely for KCET, I'll be there. And my dear children, if at all you have any queries around it, 
can call this number or the link will be given in the description box. Make sure you are taking a decision ASAP because the classes would be starting from 1st of November. That will be uh, what you call uh, the live online uh, what you, orientation on 31st of October. So do it really, really fast. Okay. Now going ahead with human reproduction, my dear children, the diagrammatic view of male reproductive system is important. Now it can be asked like sectional view. Sectional view is something different, but usually this picture is being asked and this is the female reproductive system that you have to practice. So these are diagrams that you need to definitely practice. Similarly, the mammary gland, very, very, very super important. Practice the diagram. Schematic representation of spermatogenesis, they can ask you just this or you can ask me this. So at the end you get four sperms, here you only get one ovum. Now, next thing, menstruation cycle. You won't be asked to draw the menstruation cycle, but you would be asked what happens in each of the phases. So you should know when does estrogen go up, down, and everything out there. It's very, very important. What are the ovarian hormones? What are the pituitary hormones? LH and FSH are pituitary hormones. So all those things. Okay? I've explained in the two marker, three marker, five marker video. Go watch it. I'm telling you again, if you have doubts. Embryo formation over here, all the stages, Eight cell stage, eight to sixteen blastomeres are there. What do you call the stage? It's morula. Where do you find it? In the fallopian tube. Okay, and then blastocyst stage comes, which is there for implantation. So blastocyst for implantation, morula over here, eight to sixteen cell stage, and zygote. All this thing. Okay, look for it. Now this is evolution chapter, the diagrammatic representation of Miller's experiment. Very very important. What are the four things which were needed? Uh, methane, ammonia, H2O as plus A, as well H2, hydrogen. Okay, water and hydrogen both were there. So please do not forget it and make the diagram very, very properly. Mention the temperature, it was 800 degrees Celsius where all of this was performed. Cool. And then we have reproductive health. What is this picture of? What is this picture of? So this is vasectomy where you're cutting the vas difference. This is tubectomy where you're cutting the fallopian tube. What is this? This is implants which you put under the skin, my dear children, and will be releasing certain hormones out there. So these hormones is what? Estrogen and proestrogen, proestron. And uh, the hor these hormones are there in our body helping for ovulation and everything to happen. But when you create an imbalance by giving it extra, what happens? Ovulation does not happen. You will have thin endometrium and the cervix is blocked with the help of a mucus. Okay, with the help of a mucus cup out there. So those are the things so that the sperms won't be able to enter. So please have that in your head. And that's all. Those are the important diagrams. If at all you have any queries around biology, whatever it is, put it down in the comment section. I am here to help. Wishing you all the best. You are going to absolutely rock the examination. And uh, make sure whenever you're drawing the diagram, draw it neatly. Mention, uh, label the diagrams properly in one direction. Or if you're mentioning in both directions, make sure it's concise. Okay? So that's all. And do not beautify the diagrams. What is necessary has to be there. That's all. That's all, my dear children. Wishing you all the best. Bye-bye. Take care. Do not forget to hit on the subscribe button right now.